hi guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today is Sunday so I thought we would do a little bit of mixed media um, and I'm making some little minis now these are like little mini hangings um, you can use them to go into your journals on the front of your journals on um, greetings cards you can hang them hanging off little um, gift bags and I just think they are really really cute now I've got a couple of hearts and I've got obviously I've got some Christmas trees because we are doing some Christmas bits at the moment now this one is just one that I've just sewn a little bit of um, just a triangle of a Christmas tree on there and I'm using gold leaf today um, and I just think that looks lovely now that can be an embellishment on anything um, because it's a fabric um, this one here I've just done the same thing but I've added some wire um, which I think looks lovely that one's got a little bit of lace on it a little seam binding bow um, but I just think they are gorgeous and I've just sewn around the outside of that one and this one I have got um, this is card um, here look I've got card underneath which has got some tea stain paper over the top and then I've just inked it over so if you don't have any fabric you can just use scraps of card I've got my good old Amazon packaging on there and covered it in a bit of tea stain paper um, which I've done like this so that's a lovely little sort of like Christmassy hanging um, what well, you can use it for whatever you like this one is not Christmassy this is again is a heart really really simple to do and I just think they're lovely now you can let's just get one of my journals out here look you could hang that look they're not very thick so you could pop that into a journal really really lovely um, and these ones little fabric ones you can just pop them in there um, as a little embellishment if you had a little fabric pocket you could pop that onto it as well um, or even on the front of one of your journals so it's endless ideas are endless um, and they're lovely now how I've done it really simple I've got some fabric now this is like a calico fabric um, and what I've done I've popped some gesso over it um, and then I've just left it to dry so really really simple so it just looks like a really nice canvas um, and then I've just cut it up into little squares and I've wrinkled up the edges by just rubbing them um, just so it looks nice and scruffy so I've got a couple of those this one I have just stamped on too so that's really really simple so we've got some stamping on there as well this piece here I've actually um, gold leafed already so and then I thought I might cut the little trees out because it's quite difficult to stick the gold leaf on once you've cut it out and popped it on here so I thought I would do a piece um, and put the gold leaf on and then cut it out and see how that works out these two pieces I have actually got the glue on so you have to let it go see through this is the glue for the gold leaf I'm using which is the cream foil bond which I will see if I, I'll pop a link I think I got that from a shop in Spain um, I'm not sure or on Amazon so I've just cut out a couple of little ruggedy stars and pop that on and you have to let it go shiny and then we add the gold leaf so we'll do that in a bit and I've also got another one ready just to show you um, how the gold leaf goes on so I will give that a go and then I'm going to do a little heart one I love these heart ones because they can just be any time of the year can't they so let's just pop that over a little bit I did have my little spongy bit over the top underneath this piece of paper because I got that on there and then got a little pin and then I just stuck that in just to keep it in place um, while I was painting it um, so that was easy peasy to do right so what shall we do shall we just cut out this let's pop these up here let's just see if we can cut this out takes a little bit longer for the glue to dry on the um, fabric so I'm going to just cut out a little, just a little triangle Christmas tree look. And we can keep these little bits. Look at that. Doesn't that just look lovely? Now what I'm going to do, I think, let's just ink around the edges a little bit more on here and stamp it. 
So I've just got one of my background stamps. Again, use anything if you have any little um, um, Christmassy sort of stamps, you could use those as well. Um, I'm just going to add just a little bit of that onto there. Oh, I'm going to keep that open because I'm going to just go round the edge because I want to just darken the edge up on, on these. So just run it over this. This is um, the Timber Brown Stays On, which I quite like using because it's not quite as dark, obviously, as the black. Um, so let's pop that on there. I'm going to work on here because I think you'll probably be see it in my grubby little piece down there. Look at that. I just think they're so cute. I'm going to add just a little bit more gesso to the back. Off here. Let's just pop that down. Take that off. Just cover that up because it's a little bit, maybe a little bit too dark. The writing, the um, stamping that I've done, just a tiny bit too dark, I think. That's better. Okay, let me quickly dry that. Now I'm going to just stick this down. I'm going to stick it down just with a little bit of fabric tack. Just a little bit of glue on there. It'll come out. There we go. So just a fun little, fun little make today. I'm loving the gold foil. I think it just gives it a lovely, lovely little Christmassy look, isn't it? Now what I did, I've got the darker background on here just to give a little bit of um, shadow on there. Now I've got to pop my gesso on there which is a bit of a silly idea wasn't it. I'm going to find my paintbrush, my smaller one amongst all of my stuff. I'm going to take my pencil which is my um, Stabilo All pencil and I'm going to just Take a little bit of the gesso and this to below all is just amazing. I love it. I'm going to just go around here just to darken around it. Give it a little bit of a bit of a little bit of a shadow on there. And then I will wipe this off as well. So again, you can do so many different things with these, but I like them because they like little canvases, aren't they? Just think they are so cute. Now, have I got any tissue? I'm going to just, just wipe around the edge. my water. Let's wet this a little bit more. Oh, I like that. I think that looks really nice and because I've got the gesso it gives it a little bit of texture on there as well. Am I in shot? Yes, I am. I'll give you a close-up at the end of the video of these. Um, because I just think they are just so yummy. Look at that. I think that looks really, really nice. So again, I'm going to go back and stamp onto this. Just a tiny bit. There you go. Now, don't you think that looks good? I do. I do think they look lovely. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a little hole in there. 
for the top now I've got the wire now this is 24 gauge wire I'm going to take probably seven or eight inches of it I can cut it off I'm going to first of all move that up and make a couple of little holes in here one in there and then one in there take my wire oh, actually what I'm going to do I'm just going to twist this let's bring this down just twist this round like that just so you've got a little thing on there just so it doesn't go through but then I'm going to just bring that up and then I'm going to wrap that around oops like that just to hold that in place and then we're going to go through the back twist this up so these are really quite quick to make if you um, did sort of like the gold leaf glue earlier and leave them to dry or you could do it in the evening and leave it overnight and it'll be ready for you to gold leaf the next day because it stays sticky so I'm just gonna pop a little bit of a twist in here just so you've got it's almost like they're little primitive ones aren't they but look at that I think that just looks lovely and I'm gonna leave it like that um, as it is so the next one I want to do I just want to show you if these I want you to do a little um, star one so let's just see if these are dry I've got this is the gold leaf that I'm using but you can use any gold leaf I got this from Amazon um, it's probably a link in my um, YouTube I'm not YouTube yeah under the video anyway in my Amazon so I think that's the sticky side I'm going to just stick that on like that there we go take it off there we go that's one not quite star shaped anymore is it let's take another little bit of gold leaf That's the sticky side. Pop it down. My gosh, this is where I get covered in gold. Okay, I'll clean that up in a minute. But while I'm doing the gold leaf, I'm going to do this little tree here that I covered in the glue as well. Let's just stick these little odd bits on there. An uh, old paintbrush here that's quite a sort of rougher one so I'm just gonna get rid of some of the excess gold leaf on here like that perfect look how simple that is to do right now you can collect all that gold leaf up if you like but I'm gonna make a big mess here I think let's just get rid of some of these little bits on here little stars not quite little stars anymore though are they but they are okay there we go look at that perfect nice and shiny so let's pop those to the side quickly and let's do this one shall we perfect now again I'm going to add a little bit of the 
pink around the edge. So I think it makes it look a bit like a little photo frame, not a photo frame, like a picture frame, doesn't it? There we go, love it. Now, do you think we will have enough of this? Let's just go around this just a little bit. Now again, you can embellish the back with whatever you like. So you've probably got lots and lots of different stamps and things like that. Or you could add little bits of paper, just like I normally do on a collage, sort of collage the back. But I just love the, um, the nice shiny with the sort of like darker background. I think it looks really nice. What did I do with that bit of tissue? There we go. A bit more water. Rub a little bit of that off. I'm going to end up with lots of gold leaf everywhere, I think. All just flicked into my lap. Look at that. I do like that. I might actually use my stencils on here. I've got this one I think I might quite like. Let's just see if that will work. Where's my inky dobba? Do that with a little bit of distress ink. Let's pop that. Stick that on. This looks, gives it a different background. Let's experiment. Let's just see. Oops. Oh, look at that. I like that. It's like a tiny little picture, isn't it? Now, got a little bit of my um, Posca pen here. These are on my Christmas list. I would like the um, lots of different colours in these, I know you can get. So, these are definitely on my Christmas list this year. Oh, I like that. It looks nice. It's had. I'm going to put it on, take it off. It's just. Tiny, tiny bit of gesso. Love it. Oh, I do like that one. So, should we add a little bit of the wire to it? Just make a hole in there. One in there. Quick, another little bit of wire. So this is the wire that I have from um, BB Crafts. So it, I've had this for a while now and it is lasting. It's going on and on and on, which is fantastic, isn't it? Let's make pliers. So let's just twist that around. Obviously you don't have to put wire on them. You can just do the back. You can pop a little magnet on the back um, and pop them as little fridge magnets. You can um, just pop a little paper clip on the back. I just think these look fabulous as little sort of pictures, don't they? You can still make it as a picture and put a magnet on the thing. You still have this top piece. 
got nice gold leaf nails now. Twist that round. Pop that up. Like that. Love them. Now mine are pretty sort of monochromey, aren't they? Well, but do add some colour if you wanted a little bit of colour in there. Look at that. Love them. Right, I'm going to show you how to do one of these. But I'm going to do it on here. Let's do it on this one. Or I think the longer one because I want to pop that over. Now I'm going to just put the little stars on here. Look at that. And I'm going to stamp again with this because it stamps really well. Once you've got the gesso on there, <clears throat> it stamps really, really well. So I'm going to have this piece. Like that. Love that. Pop that back. Then I'm just going to use some of my Fabri-Tac, which is the nicest one, because I'm just going to pop one on there. Which way should we have him? Like that. That one. Pop you. Like that. And then I'm going to think I will take my ink again. Gosh, I've made such a mess today. I'm going to use this, which is, if it will work, I want to have a little line down there so it looks like it's sort of hanging. Little hanging star. Then I'm going to take a um, toothpick or a cocktail stick and then I'm going to just put that around like that. So we will get some glue on here, just a little bit of Fabri-Tac on there. I'm going to pop that on and then just roll that over and stick that down. Take a minute just to stay in place. So again, if you don't have fabric, you can do this with paper. You can make little paper ones, can't you? You don't have to have the fabric on there. So we'll just twist it over and make sure it's tucked in nicely. Now, I'm going to cut these off because I you could hang your wire from those, but I don't like the sharp bits on them. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to... If it was... I could, if they were a little bit longer, I would cut the little bits off. But I'm just going to leave like that and then make little holes in there. But I like that because it holds it straight. Then it won't sort of like bow in the middle. But look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? I think that looks really, really nice. And then we're going to just get a wire. But again, you don't have to put this wire on. You can just use your... Um, magnets or just use them to stick onto something straight on and I just love them like this I think it's lovely pop that through there uh, you can also make a bigger version you don't have to have the small ones but I do love minis little mini things so so cute now i think i will use this just to make a little hole in there that's it twist this around how are we doing for time we're doing okay twist that on there 
and there we go love them don't you think they are so so cute a little bit of a bend in our wire you can do this before or after it doesn't really matter there we go squash that down oh look at that isn't that the cutest little ball and star how beautiful a little hanging star really isn't it but there we go guys they are lovely i just love them and again you don't have to put um gold foil on them you can just pop little hearts or whatever you like but i do like the hearts i do like the stars actually i think that looks really really lovely and of course some very very basic christmas trees but that's your mixed media little project for today and i love them now again embellish them with this one's got um lace on it um, which are lovely but these ones are so simple to do and I just think they would make a really lovely embellishment you don't have to do the dark background you can have a nice colourful background but I just think they look lovely like that okay guys well thank you so so much for joining me um, please say stay safe take care and have a fantastic weekend all right guys bye bye